Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anupam and I will be your instructor today. Today we will discuss AVG, Arterial Blood Gas. And at the end of this class, you will be able to diagnose an acid-based disorder by just looking at few things in the AVG that I will describe to all of you today. So let's go straight into it. So for practical purposes, we'll take pH 7.40. So, so there can be two uh, possibility, pH becoming more than 7.40 or pH becoming less than 7.40. So more than 7.40, we'll call this as alkalemia and this we'll call as acid. Now the next step will be, we will look at the PCO2 level in the blood. So check PCO2 level. So PCO2 can be called as the respiratory acid and carbonic acid is the metabolic acid so there can be two probability here for pco2 whether pco2 is more than 40 or pco2 is less than 40 when pco2 is more than 40 the so alkalosis at the same time pco2 is more than 40 so this cannot be respiratory alkalosis because respiratory acidemic content is more in blood so this has to be metabolic alkalosis so if we should less than 40 that means it's alkalemic ph also alkalemic so it will be a respiratory alkalosis the same thing will come here also check PCO2 level so you can have two probability one is PCO2 more than 40 and there is PCO2 less than 40 so in the background of acidemia if PCO2 is more than 40 that means it's respiratory acidosis and if it is acidos acidemia and the PCO is less than 40 that means it is metabolic acidosis so you can find out that without seeing the bicarbonate level even by seeing only the pH and the PCO level we can diagnose the primary disorder correct now it does not end here diagnosing the primary disorder does not end here we have to find out what are the differential diagnosis of these things so that you can treat it, you can fix the condition and the patient gets better. So for metabolic alkalosis, what are the common causes in ICU? Number one will be gastrointestinal drainage, acid rich drainage. If it is there, then it will produce an alkalosis. Second is diuretic, popularly called as contraction alkalosis third is hypokalemia fourth is steroid fifth is blood transfusion it contains citrate so the citrate will be metabolized to bicarbonate it will produce alkalosis what are the most common cause of respiratory alkalosis in ICU Number one, anything that will produce hyperventilation. Pain is the most common cause. Fever, anxiety, 
or any CNS disorder which can produce hyperventilation. What are the most common cause of respiratory acidosis? Number one, opioids is very very common in ICU. So we have to check for the drug list in the, of the patient whether that patient is getting any opioid or not. Second will be COPD, asthma. Third will be OSA, OHS or drug induced muscle or myopathy and so many so forth. When it comes to metabolic acidosis, it is not that simple. So the metabolic acidosis will be next step will be anion gap calculation. For practical purpose, we'll take the normal anion gap to be 12. So there can be two things. Anion gap is more than 12, it's called high anion gap metabolic acidosis or HAG and there will be another thing it will be called normal NN gap metabolic acidosis so what are the differential diagnosis for high NN gap metabolic acidosis difference diagnosis will be mud piles methanol uremia DKA propylene glycol INH iron lactic acid ethanol salicylate when you, when you come to NAGMA, the next step will be major urinary NN gap. The formula will be sodium plus potassium minus chloride. It can be two types, negative or positive. If it is negative, then it is GI cause of volume loss. If it is positive, then it will be renal cause now what is NN gap so NN gap will be equal to sodium minus chloride minus bicarbonate and we have to correct it for albumin so what is albumin correction Al albumin correction is equal to NN gap plus albumin gap divided by 0.4 or NN gap plus 2.5 into 4 minus albumin level no, normal value of NN gap will be 10 plus minus 2 so this is in an art cell how we look at AVG in our day-to-day -day life. In the next lecture, we'll, we'll discuss in detail about metabolic acidosis, their compensation, and what to do about it. Thank you very much.